guess we'll say we're weird a lot. It's not that kind of show. Um, okay, what were you going to talk about next? No, Care Bear Underwear is not, no, this is not the place. Uh, well, let's see, we, we, uh, since we are Richmond famous, apparently, we, yeah, we thought we'd tell a story about all the kind people we get to meet along the way, um, and the weird experiences we have when we get recognized when we're not, um, expecting to be recognized, uh, which is, I think we've told everyone on the blog, it's very awkward for us, because we're awkward. Well, everybody knows things about you, and they're like, I love your kitchen, and you're like, your kitchen's probably like nice. your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But two stories in particular. Um, one, the other day we were out eating with Clara, and um, a gentleman came out by himself and was so excited, and no offense, guys, but it's usually women that come <laughs> very excited to us. Um, and he chatted about it. He said, like, my wife would be so, uh, so shocked that I saw you. She'd be jealous. so jealous. Yeah. He was like, can I take a picture? And I was like, oh, okay, you know, sure. And so I start to lean in for this, and he hands me the camera. <laughs> so, yeah, there's probably an internet so, rumor about us now, because I'm all. <laughs> so now we know who's the famous one. <laughs> it was cute. And then this other one, some people would read the blog. This was a request. Like, yeah, this is a request. Is, um, one time we were in Target, which was every day. And I, I heard a cart behind me, and I was like, oh, it's John and Clara. And it was like maybe October. But you know how they do Christmas stuff really early now? Like before Halloween, there's Christmas stuff. So I took two like wooden trees from the shelf, and I spun around, and I said, John, it's Christmas time. <laughs> and then it wasn't John. <laughs> and it was this really nice lady with a baby, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I just sort of like put the trees down, and, sort of, and she was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I was totally busted. And then John came and kind of rescued me. Oh, there was no rescue in that. <laughs> I like your kitchen. <laughs> That's great. Now, will you please leave? <laughs> He's wearing black surgical gloves. <laughs> Very, very nice. <laughs> I've put so much work into it. Please do not touch my marble counters. I wanted to trace the marble. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Whatever's going to get you out of here. I also like your bedroom. <laughs> the sheets are very nice. <laughs> They're just in cotton. 300 thread count. I think that's good. <laughs> Can't have it too heavy. What you've done to your shed is amazing. Uh, he's also wearing those like blue blues that uh, like painters wear over their shoes. I had to demolish it and rebuild it from scratch, but thank you. Oh, I could tell. Yeah. It's all in the book that you made for me. And left on the door set. Do you have any more concrete left? <laughs> Shit, I rebuilt. Good. <laughs> Very good. Look, if I promise to stucco your walls, will you please leave? Just making conversation. I don't know why it has to get hostile. It doesn't have to get hostile. Oh, it's not hostile. <laughs> We're cool. <laughs> you just have told me to not move from this spot for the past four hours. I'm just... <laughs> and I appreciate your patience. Would you like a water? Or nope. Okay. <laughs> My eyes are here. I was just enjoying your rocking. It's very menacing. It's but soothing. Yeah. You want me to be soothed, don't you? Oh, yes, totally, please. Soothed. Hey, honey, we finally got the wedding. Oh, hello. <laughs> I like what you've done to your hair. It's different than last time I saw you. Of course, that was through quite a long lens. <laughs> nope. Take a seat. 
<laughs> this will only take another moment, I promise. I got the wedding invite to your sister. Yeah. Will, this, this is Claude. I don't shake. I wasn't... Good. <laughs> Just don't talk. Everything's in order, and your house will appraise above value. It was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> uh, Clara, Clara is too boring a name now that we're famous. Yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try for something. I just feel like it's not going to be in the tabloid. No. You know, so. <laughs> Clara. Yeah. Let's start we can top Apple or what's the what's well, the well, blue and blue, uh, blue and onion? No, yeah. <laughs> I, I, thought, I, thought, I thought that's what I thought you were gonna say. I thought that just came to me. That was yeah. a freestyle. Yeah, just blue, 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 blue yeah. and onion. Blue and onion. <laughs> kind of looks like a blooming onion, yeah. Yeah, she does. Uh, we could, oh, they call her Bo for short. Uh. <laughs> no. Well, I like this outback. Food theme we're going yeah, with. Okay. Let's continue with that. Let's brainstorm. Uh, get our group think going. There ain't an actual Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean, there's loaded cheese fries, but like. Uh. Uh, that. I feel like that's like predicting her future. Madam and Sir, your your table is ready. Oh, look at that little adorable. What? What's the, what's the word that's on the top of your mind? What does she look like to you, young It can be a noun or an adjective, it doesn't matter. It uh, looks like a baby. Oh. Um. Wedge! Wedge! Wedge? Like the wedge salad they serve here at Outback. It's a great oh. option for people who are trying to cut back on calories. Also, a fantastic baby name we just found out. I wouldn't go as far to say that. <laughs> Will you sign as our witness? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Wedgie? Oh. Uh. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm going to give the table table away if you're still thinking of a name for your baby. We're still thinking of a name for our baby in the lobby of an Outback Steakhouse, thank you. I remember when my parents named me, I was, oh no, I don't. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, sir, madam, while you're waiting, would you like to try an appetizer? What do you have there? Oh, uh, well, we have the, um, we have the Bushman shrooms. <laughs> She frowns when she hears it. <laughs> That's like B BM. It's Bushman mushrooms. Bushman mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the shroom thing. Uh, we don't want to predict her future. I mean, they're very tasty. I promise. What else? Uh, I've got a sample of the Alice Springs chicken quesadillas. Alice Springs <laughs> chicken quesadillas. We could call her quesadillas. <laughs>
quesadilla. Stop! <laughs> uh, you have already been accused of, uh, well, what appear to be just the, the ramblings of a young lady trying to find her place in the world. Uh, in public urination, etc. Uh, but, but, uh, we must make an example of you. Oh, why? No. It's because we're famous. <laughs> The only, the only thing saving you from jail time is how fun your name is. Today. <laughs> <laughs> you did something I, right. I try and be in a, in a serious, and uh, then I say quesadilla, and it just puts a, it puts a smile on my face. As I get that too. You do all you can, you know. You do everything you can. Very good. Very good. You know this. Uh, <coughs> so are we free to go? Well, she goes. Well, I got I'm still sentencing. <laughs> Uh, I have to pick up some trash on the side of the road. <coughs> oh, that's not for a period of uh, three to four months, uh, depending on how good you are at it. Oh, <laughs> you okay, so Hell no! no. <laughs> All right, now, uh, Miss, Miss Quesadilla, uh, please, uh, this, this is a very light punishment. That's gross! No, no, baby. Uh, uh, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Yeah. <laughs> this is very light. You, you punched a police officer in his gonads. <laughs>